So what's up guys, it's Shun and welcome back to another Pokemon Showdown Live, this is episode number 65 on the channel, and I don't know how I thought it was episode 59 in the last episode, um, but you know, this is episode 65, so welcome, we're gonna be using the same Entei and SD bombs in the core, we're also using the same music that I used on Monday, but it's just because I really like this music, actually I used it on Tuesday, this is a really fat team, um, pretty cool wall core right here, with these 5 mons, plus analytic wall breaker um or adaptability which, which is like equally as scary but anyway i'm just gonna go ahead and what he's gonna lead with glider right probably uh i'm gonna lead a bomb snow uh, and i know that's kind of risky leading with a potential win condition turn one. Oh, by the way in order to win this game i need to get oh this works out for me i don't think he's gonna stay in right here uh, i'm just gonna mega evolve and fire off a safe ice shard um just because I I really highly doubt he's gonna stand right here. He has a Dewblade sitting at the back. And uh, he just goes straight into it right here, which is fine. Um, I just kinda wanna scout his initial switch ins. Uh, and uh, he will go for the fighting move if he has it right here. But I'm just gonna go on a Gliger because he actually can't do anything to me. And that's pretty nice. As he makes the good double into Porygon Z. So just making plays. Um, I think right here I'm gonna go into. Do I stealth? I'm, I'm stealth rocking. I'm a real man. He's not going for his normal stab. I have a resist. He goes for try the ow. Help. Um, right here, I think I have to sack. Uh, I'm just going to click roost again. Or just click roost. And I know that looks... Yeah, because he has the dark bulls. And I was going to say, I know that looks like kind of a weird play. But that situation right there is like the exact reason why I didn't uh, do anything. Because I didn't want to get blown back. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go for a superpower, uh, and by blown back, I mean destroyed with Rashi. As he goes into Umbreon, which is nice, because I will be able to uh, knock this out after superpower plus Draco damage. Um, which is really nice, because this means he has zero switch-ins to Mr. Fangs. And <laughs> if I get an SD up with the Bombus now, I think I may be able to uh, run my way through his team. But I'm just clicking Draco again. I know he could very well go out in a Dewblade, but... Um, as reasonable as a possibility as that is, uh, I can't afford to let his Umbreon get a wish off right here, because uh, that would really be a big detriment to the rest of my team. Um, and I'm trying to look at the rest of the members of my team and just kind of break down what they do. Uh, Entei, right here, uh, it's nice for burning stuff on the switch in, which is really what it's here for. Uh, as he tries to get the double protect, as I miss the Draco, so you would have been better off wishing right there. Um, but that's really unfortunate, and I had to miss that Draco, um, because now he gets an extra turn of lefties. Nice! Um, and now I can't actually kill him. That's wonderful. Um, so, off to a great start. Uh, right here, I'm just gonna go out into Jirachi, though, and, uh, on the Protect, uh, as he goes for the foul play. Good play. Should've just stayed in and gone for the U-turn. Um, but I'm just gonna iron head him right here. Uh, hopefully get a couple flinches off and uh, begin to wear him down because uh, that's what needs to happen. There's one flinch. I need like two more. Yeah, I need two more flinches. Uh, if I can get two more, that'd be beautiful. Um, I kind of want to sub predicting the protect if I flinch him again right here because uh, I think that would be A, a lord play. And uh, yeah, there's the flinch. Okay, right here I'm subbing. Uh, predicting the protect. I think he's gonna try to get lefties back this turn and uh, It's also just a cool play that I don't really need to make uh, but there it is <laughs> Nice um, so this gives me an insurance policy because after I iron had him right here if I flinch him then uh, he's out of luck and he can only hope to protect me and if I don't flinch him then I like obviously don't get destroyed by this foul play so anyway uh i get the iron head off right there which is 14 percent, which is nice i'm just gonna toxic him right here uh because he's just gonna go for the dark pulse or whatever as i miss toxic wonderful um so what was it? wish when i missed the drink one. um it's fine i have a full counter at the back but i'm actually gonna sub up right here uh predicting his switch and i know that seems like a weird play um, but he's been playing very aggressively so far this game, so I wouldn't put it past him to try to pull another double, as he does in the Gligar, and, uh, I can just go for the Iron, or I can just Toxic right here, and, uh, get this thing status, which is beautiful, and, uh, now that I know this guy is playing very aggressively, I can kind of use that to my advantage, and, oh, he's immunity, I look like a genius right now, 
don't I? Um, I, th I thought he was hybrid cutter, not gonna lie. <laughs> um, so I can just iron head, get the flinch, easy. Um, and I guess just kind of wear this thing down for uh, potentially Entei, which would be very cool. I'm also getting leftovers this entire time, which just works out to me, or works out in my favor, rather. Um, right here, I'm just going to go straight into High Dragon because I think he's going to roost if he does anything like crazy. Um, and he just goes for the roost. There we go. I'm just going to go ahead and drop a Draco right here uh, because it smacks a lot of his team and nothing really switches into this. Uh, especially now that Umbreon is at like 40 some percent, 39. Um, so it will die to the Draco if it does try to come in, and uh, that did 85%. I'll take that. He's is he gonna come with the U-turn? He just goes for the roost. Good play. Uh, Should have just dark pulsed, but right now I can go into Entei or not Entei, a bomb snow rather, and uh, probably go for the EQ on the switch to blade as he goes for the roost. Uh, I don't think he can stay in right here. I kind of want to SD though, but I can't sweep him. Which is unfortunate. But I'm just going for the EQ. As he goes for the U-turn. It does 20%. It's easy. Uh, he's going into Dewblade. Pretty much for sure. I don't see any reason why he wouldn't. Um, he may be predicting me to go for my Grass Stab right here. Which wouldn't be a bad play. But I don't think he'll do it. He just goes into Umbreon. So that's fine. EQ is going to be enough to knock Umbreon out. Um... So this puts him in a, in like a very bad situation, to be honest, because uh, that was like one of the things stopping uh, Bombsnuff from running all over his team. As he goes into Dewblade right here, uh, he will outspeed me, unless he's like min speed. And but to be honest, this doesn't help me that much. Like it helps me, don't get me wrong. But I would rather just sack it for EQ damage right here. Uh, get 38% off. As he goes for the Sacred Sword. I live. Easy game. And uh, I can just click Ice Shard right here. Uh, out, prioritize, out prioritize him, uh, which will really help me uh, in the long run. Get off an extra 6% as he sneaks. Hail, another 6% residuals, people. And uh, I can just go out into High Dragon, I think. Or I could go out into Owl um, Vaporeon. <laughs> Almost did it again. Um, because his Glagger is at a good amount of HP. 94%, but I don't think a, a whole lot lives Dark Pulse spam from this point. Um, especially if I do try to, like, I, I think I'll just use this thing to wall break and then try to win with CB Ante. Uh, because to be honest, if I burn that Glider, it becomes a lot less threatening and I think can actually just be like completely stalled out by Vaporeon. And um, this thing, Porygon Z, um, will go down to an E speed after rocks and random life orb, which is nice. Uh, Gliger gets 1v1 by this. Um, depending on Gudra's set, I can 1v1 it with uh, Vaporeon, and I can 1v1 Mega Blastoise with Vaporeon. So we may be seeing Vaporeon just manhandle his team right here, which would be pretty neat. Um, although, since my opponent does not seem to be making a move, I'm going to go ahead and start Pyrrhon, because uh, that'll actually uh, hopefully speed this up. Because I do have to get working on homework again, even though I don't want to. Um, but I am recording this on a Wednesday night, so, um, I do have two tests tomorrow, but, you know, it's whatever. He goes for the sneak, gets off an extra chunk of damage, and I think Hail will end this turn. Nice. Okay, so, this gives me, like, one more guaranteed kill. Um, and, looking at the rest of his team, I think... Is it my best play just a Dark Pulse, uh, whatever comes in? He goes into Gudra, which is fine. Uh, I'm just going to Draco, because he'll kill me with whatever move, which... Oh! He outrages. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go into Jirachi right here and uh, Toxic him real quick. If he's Scarf, he's a god. <laughs> um... So after I toxic him right here, uh, it'll be a lot easier to just kind of wear him down. Um, don't really understand Outrage Gudra if he's not Scarf. Um, that did 36% though, so I ain't hating. Uh, I can just Iron Head though, and uh, then watch Vaporeon go to work. There's the flinch. That's what I needed. It's easy. Um, right here, I kind of want to toxic. 
predicting the switch, but I really have no reason to, is I can just get rid of Gudra. That's one more thing that could have beaten Vaporeon. Um, seeing that it was more than likely physical and had power whip, which would have been bad. Uh, he goes into Glagger, though. We're going to see how many flinches we can get in a row. Because uh, that's how I am going to play this. Um, it's kind of a dumb method to play. Okay, no flinch. Okay. Well, to be fair, he didn't really deserve that. And uh, I can just start spamming Scald, I think, at this point. And hopefully just ride Scald to victory, Scanbald. Um, because Vaporeon isn't strong, but it's not weak at the same time. And... Uh, it will do enough to where... Oh, I didn't get the burn. That's lame. Um, what I'm going to... Actually, I can't afford to not uh, do the thing. <laughs> I know that made no sense. Bear with me. Um, and given that he is analytic, this is actually a problem now. I should have probably wished. But I didn't want to lose that because then I would have been put in an equally poor situation. So I'm going to protect. Uh, get some HP back and see how this goes. Uh, he, he goes straight away for the try attack and I think I have to hope that by some miracle I hang on right here but this try attack will do me in so that's gonna be a good game you know uh, we didn't lose that often this week so I'm not too broken up about it if I if I could have lived this I'm disappointed but I cannot so that's a very good game so if you guys did enjoy this entire week of Pokemon Showdown Live, please make sure to leave a like because it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video, which is, uh, do you guys have any last improvements for this team? Would you guys like to see it on the channel in the future? And with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.